So you have an IOTA and you would like to connect it to Zero Tier's SD-WAN environment. This is a really nice feature of the IOTA. So you go to ZeroTier.com and set yourself up a free account and you come over here to your networks and you create a network. It will automatically assign you an ID. You give it a name and then you have a network ID and you select um, a range of IP addresses that you want to use for your devices that are going to be within your SD-WAN network. And you can just select easy here and pick one of these ranges and then your devices will DHCP from this range. Now I suggest you use a slash 24 up to a slash 21, but be careful using big networks like slash 16s because your broadcast range gets really big when you do that. I don't really recommend that. And then down here, um, you can authorize or unauthorize devices that you add to your network, and it shows them online what version of the zero-tier agent they're using, and, and their assigned IP address. And you can set static IP addresses as well if you don't want to use DHCP. It's really easy to set up the zero-tier side of this SD-WAN environment. So what do you do on the IOTA to do this? On the IOTA, you go to Configuration, and down here, you join the network ID that you created in Zero Tier. You just put it in here, and that is your network ID. Come over here, add it in here, and hit Apply, and then you become a part of, your IOTA becomes a part of your SD-WAN environment. So the agent is already loaded on the IOTA. All you have to do is put that network ID in there and apply it. So how do you access your devices from your Windows machine? So in IOTA, or in Zero Tier, excuse me, you can go to Downloads. And in Downloads, you can download the agent that you need to run on your device to be in the SD-WAN environment. So you download and install this Windows installer or Mac installer. Apple installer for your phone or Android, and then Linux FreeBSD down here. These are very simple to install. And um, what do they look like? They're pretty simple, and I'll show you that in just a second. But before I do, what happens? How does it work? When you install the Windows agent on your computer and you put in your network ID, you join your network and... Uh, then you come up here and you and your device will show up here as unauthorized. You just click this and authorize the device and then it becomes authorized to be on the SD-1 environment. That's how easy that is. And you can give it a simple name here just by typing in here. That's what I did. Um, so what does it look like on the network when you when you add that agent to your computer, to your Windows machine? So I did a simple ARP minus A command here to look at my little verfs here on my own computer. And you can see that the 101417 range slash 24 was added to my as a virtual adapter on this Windows machine when I installed the zero tier agent on my computer. And it assigned me an IP address of dot 93. That is my Windows computer's gateway now out to the SD-WAN environment. And then I have my regular LAN IP address and, of course, the Class D space that everybody gets. Now, you can see here's a device that's in my... This is in another building, in another network, um, in another part of the state. And it's also joined to the zero-tier network, just like I am. And if I trace to that device from my computer, it shows me no hops. And I got pretty good response time here to get to it. Why is that? Because in the SD-WAN environment, set up like it is, you are configured as a peer device. So, um, let me... So, here, um, let's just assume this is the a representation of the SD-WAN environment that we're in using Zero Tier. Here's our subnet. Here's our different locations around wherever they are. And I'm going to hit this um, um, dot 24 device here. And I'm in, and you can say that, that dot 24 is in this building 
and my dot 93 right here is in this building it doesn't really matter it's going to find the device as a peer-to-peer -peer environment and that's why there's no hops when i trace this connection it goes directly from my 93 to this dot 24 device and you don't see any hops and the reason that is is because this as this zero tier environment sets up an encrypted tunnel between um, the devices and the SD-WAN environment in the zero tier cloud. So um, as each agent on each device is encrypted UDP tunneled back, I see any device inside this network as a peer to peer device and it's fully encrypted from the device to the device. Um, to the cloud inside this UDP tunnel. One thing that's really nice about that is it's not IPsec, it's not ISACAMP, it's just a straight up UDP encrypted tunnel. So all of your protocols and traffic go inside that envelope. And, and um, for, for firewalls, for example, see it as just UDP encrypted traffic. And, um, and it's easy to manage devices that are set up this way inside this inside this tunnel that the zero tier sets up for you. So, so I'm connected to this IOTA through that SD-WAN network and my PC has that Windows agent on it, a zero tier Windows agent so that I can become a part of this network and I can access devices that are on it just like any device that I put that zero tier agent on. The handy thing is that it comes built into the IOTA and it's ready to go. All you have to do is put in your network ID in there and, and apply it and authorize it to be connected to the network on the zero tier side. Here's the IOTA and it's authorized. Here's its IP address and you can see it. this is actually how I'm accessing this device uh, at that IP address on port 3000 because you access the IOTAs on port 3000. And it works very nicely. It's very clean, very easy to set up. And it's a nice feature of the IOTA. I really like that.